Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on my tutorials on quantum statistics. This is video number 32C and I'm going to discuss the Maxwell-Boltzmann speed distribution. Specifically I'm going to get the RMS. So I'd like to draw your attention to my website universityphysicstories.com. So the previous video to this was number 32B where I got the average velocity or the, the average velocity uh, for a single particle. And previous to that I had number 31 uh, or 32 excuse me where I got the distribution function n of v dv. Alright, so to be honest, I'm building directly on the work I did in 32 and 32A. So for that reason, I'm going to go pretty quickly and go ahead and just do this. So if you're stuck, go back to the previous videos. So what does VRMS mean? Well, VRMS is the square root of the average velocity squared. That is it by definition. Okay, full stop. Why? Because that's just what it is. Just accept that. So in the previous video, we showed that to get, we use an analogy. In order to get... The, excuse me, in order to get the total number of particles in a system, well, what we had to do was we had to integrate the number density, dE, we'll say if it's, if it's in terms of energy. In order to get the total average energy for a single particle, what we had to get was the integral of n of epsilon times epsilon d epsilon. And we made the analogy this time that to get, in order to get the total average, uh, the total velocity, average velocity, excuse me, in order to get the total average speed for a single particle, we'd do an analogous integral where we'd n of v times v dv. And of course, for that reason, there are three factors of v in the middle of it, okay? Because there are two factors automatically in, a, in n of v. So how do we get, what integral do we do in order to get v or ms? Well, in order to get v or ms, what we have to do is we have to do, you need to get the square root of the integral of v squared times n of v dv like that and that's what we're going to do v squared times n of v dv okay so in video number 32 i calculated n of v dv and i'm going to show you what i did there so n of v dv is equal to 4 pi n we have m over 2 pi kt to the 3 over 2, we had 4 pi v squared, uh, we had e to the minus m v squared over 2 k t dv. Now, I'm only talking about a single particle, so I'm going to get rid of this n. I explained that in the previous video. So let's go ahead and do the integral. So the integral, we need, in order to do this, we meet, you need to do a substitution. Just like I did in the previous, this time it's going to be m over 2kt times v. Okay, we know that as a result then we're going to have dx is equal to m over 2kt square rooted dv. Of course we know like that del x, or excuse me, dx is actually del x del v dv. Okay, for something in one, which is, it's a function of only one variable. So, obviously I'm going to plug this in to my integral and see what we have. So we have V R M S. I'm going to close it all off with this uh, like that. Okay, so it's going to be the square root of M over 2 K T, and then we have a factor of pi, and this is going to be cubed, we'll say, so I'm not going to bother uh, bracketing it, times 4 pi. Then we're going to have this 2kt over m and this time that whole thing is to be to the power of 4 then we're going to get another square root 2kt over m and this is just to the power of a half and then we're going to have an integral which I'm going to draw in blue which is going to be x to the 4 e to the minus x squared dx all right, now look once again, you can look this integral up. It's a Gaussian integral. Um, the mathematicians will explain it to you pretty quickly. So the answer to that particular one there is uh, that the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the 4 e to the minus x squared dx is equal to 3 eighths square root pi. And I'm not really going to go into this. You can look it up there. The placeholder we usually give them is i, i sub n, we'll say. So if you put that result there, so this result is, that goes to 3 eighths square root pi. So we need to plug that in 
and just cancel off a pile of factors. And of course, I need to have the fact that I have a half here. All right. So plug them all in, and you're going to get V R M S. It's going to be equal to the square root of three eighths. And we're going to have a couple of factors of two. We're going to have an M. We're going to have a KT like that. So look, what, what does that give us? That V R M S is going to be equal to three KT over M. Squared. Okay, that is the VRMS for a single particle of a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, uh, classical particles, of course. Alright, so that's all I've got to say about that. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and also check out universityphysicstutorials.com.